I'm Shannon from Shannon the Clans and Hudson is Pops. Welcome to Beverly Hills. We're gonna go check out some celebrity homes. Map. I don't know if this is gonna be a through street. The map cuts off. Maybe if we paid the extra ten dollars, we'd have a full map. Oh, Lindsay Lohan, fifty. Left on. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I know. On Sierra. Oh, maybe she I lives in a hotel. Yeah. So hotel. Oh damn it! That's boring. Mm. Let's turn around. We're gonna go to Toby McGuire's house. Okay. Love him. It's the Terminator house right there. Well, like, see, and this is so opposite. Hand carved door, I like that. Oh, this is so fucking cool. I know. Toby's house. That's the struck. This, like, really reminds me of the Mormon church I went to growing up. Like, a naughty Mormon, like, you know, maybe you skip certain Sundays, or maybe every now and then you drink a Coca Cola with your family. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm that. not, I'm no longer a Mormon. Christina. What if a security guard tackles me? Oh, gaudy. Big surprise. Hey, we're just stopping by my friend Christina Aguilera's house. I'm gonna make sure she's home. Christina, you're making me look really stupid right now. I guess she's not home. She's probably tanning or something. Taco. Taco. They said God, their shirt what the hell on. is that? Yeah, it's a, don't tell me it's a strip club. No, it's actually a restaurant, which is kind of weirder, right? I don't know what's. And the like goth vampire font is very strange. We did pass the body shop, which is you know one of the strip clubs from like Girls, Girls, Girls. They sing about really at the body shop. Oh, I always thought that was like a car auto body shop. Oh, of course that's what they meant. <laughs> I haven't found the right place to build my mansion yet. And I'm like millions of dollars away from building it, so I think I have a little time to plan. But it would probably be like in a forest that's not very far from all my friends. I moved to Oakland, started playing music, eventually started playing shows and had a band play because I was too shy to do it in front of people I knew without the band, so I got the band. Found the ears on MySpace. And then my friend stumbled upon Nobunny, who was connected to the ears because they share the member. And um, happened to be put on a show with Nobunny, and it was just this mutual thing. Like, actually meeting him, he like assumed I was a bit like, already in the know of all the like garage rock scene. I didn't know anything about a modern garage rock scene. I just knew about like actual music from the 60s. Playing with Nobunny and then meeting him and becoming such close friends, like kind of in a lot of ways, he like showed me all this other music. Like I remember um, sending him a message on MySpace when I found out about King Con and Barbecue and was like, you have to listen to this band. It's amazing. He was like, they've been around forever and those are my friends. It, like blew my mind. It, like. It's like, oh wow, I can, he knows all these people, I can know all these people, they're just people. One time like, we went to a party at the salon vintage store that Hunks used to work at called Down at Lulu's and met him and he was like so nice and sweet and asked me to sing backups one time. And it just like was clear that we were all on the same wavelength. And I definitely felt like we were a bit of a dream team and really like not only are we good friends, but we're like good collaborators and like all three are, I think we're still close because we're, we're really nice people who are creative and like care so much about our art. What was that quote? I just like read this cool quote that was like a C.S. Lewis quote. Hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny. But yeah, I think sometimes when things are too easy, too safe, handed to you, you know, you miss out on like growing and experiencing and 
trying things and failing. Thanks again for riding along with me through Beverly Hills.